So now we've gone over all the possible ways to label angle measures on our unit circle. And those are our inputs for sine and cosine. So next is to, order, to label the actual coordinates, which are our outputs for sine and cosine. Well, we've already gone over the big four. And that is that we start at 1, 0, where 1 radius length to the right and 0 radius lengths up or down. We move to 0, 1. We then have negative 1, 0, 0, negative 1. I want to look first at our thicker dashed line. So let's look at these points here. So I'll put this in orange. There we go. What happens is we get a right triangle created. It's actually a special right triangle. It's a 45, 45, 90 triangle. Which, if you remember your ratios, means the sides are in a ratio of 1, 1, square root 2. But remember, in a unit circle, our radius has a length of 1. So we want to change this radius value to length of 1. To do that, we want to divide everything by root 2. So we get 1 over root 2, 1 over root 2, 1. But the problem is we don't like having roots in our denominator. We multiply by root 2 over two, root 2, and that gives us root 2 over 2. Thus, our sides are root 2 over 2, root 2 over 2. So this ordered pair is telling us we are root 2 over 2 to the right and root 2 over 2 radius lengths up. The nice thing is, once you have that first point, you can figure out the related three points. Because all of these thick dashed lines create these 45, 45, 90 triangles with this horizontal diameter. Thus, the numeric values of all these orange points are the same. The only thing that changes are the signs. For example, over here, we're now to the left, meaning cosine's negative. We get negative root 2 over 2, but a positive root 2 over 2 for sine because we're still above our horizontal diameter. In the bottom left, we're both to the left and below, so both values are negative. You get negative root 2 over 2, negative root 2 over 2. And in the bottom right, we get a positive cosine, because we're to the right, and a negative sign because we are below. Okay, now let's look at the other special triangle we have, and that's this triangle here. which is, in fact, a 30, 60, 90 triangle. If you remember, your 30, 60, 90 triangles are a 1, root 3, 2 ratio. Again, we like to have our radius to be 1. So we get root 3 over 2, 1 half and 1, meaning this point here we are root 3 over 2 to the right, and 1 half of a radius length up. Again, this lets us label our corresponding points. We get negative root 3 over 2, positive 1 half. We get negative root 3 over 2, negative 1 half. And we get positive root 3 over 2, negative 1 half. 